Right. Well, I don't know if that's any better. Well, I still can't read it clearly. There is something, I would say that's 404. That there is 442. So it's something 442 something. Something 442 something. And here, I thought that was 404. Um, might have got another method here. I'm gonna Oh. Didn't work very well, did it? It's T. I have no idea. It could be F on the big letter. But that is T. Oh my god, this is so... Put it in again. And slowly rub it out again. Definitely looks like a four. Got a magnifying glass here. I think that's four, the last three numbers is 494 or 404. Nine four, definitely nine four. God, that's so indistinct. Oh. That's T.
That's definitely a four there. That's definitely a four. Ah, so that's T58. I hope I can see that. That's T58 something 94. I'll write that down. T58 something. Nine four. I'll scratch away a bit for more. It can only be an, a zero. Bottom is a little bit indistinct, but the um, okay, I've got got the numbers. The casting number F four four two one, and the. Frame number is T five eight zero nine four. Two. Right, moving on to the engine number. It's either going to be. I understand the early machines had it there on top of the front engine lug mounting, or side of the crankcase near side crankcase below the barrel so I can't see any to be honest so let's have a scrape away here wow there is something god that's corroded Let's check that one, that'll be the easiest one first. Use that brush, eh? There's absolutely no trace of a number there. So it must be on the side of the barrel. Okay. Well, something's 
coming up. Wow, something there. All right. It's T20 and a small, a small S. And over here is a number 58094. Hang on a minute. That's the same as a frame number. The frame number was 58094. And Definitely 58094. If I can, I don't know if you can actually see that. I'll move it around. Um, right. And I'll zoom in and light it up. <laughs> 